Hello YouTube. Here is a video to show you how to play as a cop in Need for Speed 4 High Stacks. Uh, here is a recap about all the keys related to the wingman operation. You can pause it and study it. Then I use the next cop car to select a cop car, then use the wingman key to select the current cop car as my wingman. Choose on um, the map is a green dot. Now here he comes. This is my wingman now. My wingman will stay in formation with me and follow me. If he is far, he will run run to me uh, if in the same time I can still select another cop car if I press the wingman button again I will release current car and uh, call the another guy as my wingman the county I have a speeding Lamborghini near the tunnel he's going more than 180 I'm in pursuit okay this Camaro now is my wingman oops uh, if I turn on my siren, my wingman will also turn on the siren. But the problem is, my wingman will never lock on any uh, speeder as his target. This is the uh, this is the most challenging thing that a player is facing. Go! So in this tutorial, I will focus on how you can make your wingman lock on the right target and chase the right target. Okay, I made this BMW as my wingman. I will show you if I do not release him, he will not chase anyone. See? Hit, then I release. He turned on the siren and start to chase. Then I will show you a better solution for you to operate this wingman. What I want to do is order him to do a U-turn, just like Need for Speed 3. So when the police is doing a U-turn, it have more possibility to hit the speeder. So when I saw the dot, release. Then I hit. Ah, another hit. So this is the technique. Now I'm gonna show you how to release your wingman when the speeder is behind you. First, you should uh, turn off your siren so your wingman will not turn on his siren. Then keep the speeder behind you and your wingman. Uh, we go forward wait for some time and wait for the speeder to catch your wingman after the speeder approach your wingman you release your wingman then open the siren yeah then you two can capture him together Wait for him to get him close, then you release your wingman, turn on your siren, hit, and even if you missed him, your wingman will take care of him. Of him. Next, I will show you how to release your wingman when your opponent is in front of you. Uh, you can turn on your siren and close your siren to check if the car is your wingman or not. And if you are trying to do the U-turn when with your siren on, then release your wingman. Your wingman will just ignore ignore the speeder, then go away. So you should not release your wingman until you re-lock on the speeder. Okay, now let's do a U-turn. Okay, do not release your wingman. 
you may just stay formation but not try to chase the speed and you should relock relock the speeder then release your wingman okay the wingman is being released see he is accelerating I, I capture you instead now my wingman is released he now I will do a recap how to do a draft U-turn to intercept the speeder ahead. Uh, this is a technique used by Need for Speed 3 AI Hops. But it's very efficient. So here you have a higher chance if you do this maneuver. Then I will do it in a slow motion. Basically, you turn first, then release the brake, pull the hand brake, and hold the hand brake until you stop or you want to go to that direction. Another strategy is to release your wingman before you turn on your siren. Uh, this is the most safe and effective way but uh, you should not do it inside a tunnel or at a narrow space uh, because the AI of the cops in Need for Speed 4 is not smart enough uh, like in Need for Speed 3 so I'm going to do this demo okay when I saw the speeder I released women you turn then my wingman will automatically chase one of them. Okay, here is another interesting thing is how to deploy a roadblock as you wish. The roadblock can be only deployed by AI or all your wingmen. See? Ah. A roadblock is deployed. After your wingman deployed the roadblock, he will guard this roadblock and he will not continue to patrol. But you can also switch to this car and choose this car to add another spy strip. And you can switch back to your original car, then add the second spike strip. Then you have your perfect roadblock. Okay, let's do it again and see how you can use your keys to achieve this uh, perfect roadblock. Uh, first, you need to have your wingman, then uh, when your wingman go to your desired position and hit the roadblock key, a roadblock is deployed. Then you go in and put one spike strip. Then switch to your wingman's car to another another spike strip. And every a uh, cop car can carry one roadblock so if you try to deploy the roadblock twice with same car it just won't happen uh, but your car will still guard the position here you go Central, 
332. Roger that. 324 to Central.